artwork was done by John Barnby. Uh, we worked with him on Union of Crowns and the first time he sent through anything to do with Union of Crowns, we all just went, Jesus, like it blew us away. And we knew that this time we weren't gonna go so complex. Um, I had the idea of, of symbol. a symbol that would, in, in keeping with the rune, I wanted something that kind of would work with the runes that wasn't a rune itself. Like that's kind of the, the idea behind it. And um, John came up with this idea of doing like, uh, creating this symbol that would be almost like the motif that would go along with the, uh, uh, with the runes. So like when, you know, if, if you were to use the rune stones for the divination, you would almost roll them onto the symbol to show you what was the, the things you were trying to see and, and inside the artwork as well he included both Union of Crowns and uh, Portraits artwork as well like interlaced with each other and annotated and all gone over uh, in order to show that connection between the three albums as a whole and kind of like you know and I just think that he absolutely smashed it we really love the the, the symbol uh, and we think it definitely sums up where we want to be as well like and we wanted this album to be very crisp and clean and more about you know I don't think you can look at runes and know how that album's gonna sound and I love that about it like it's it's not it's, it's an open book you can, you, you, you're gonna have to go through it and find your favorite tracks and stuff like that you're not gonna be led into it no, I'd agree. I'd agree with, with, with what Dan said. It's just uh, as you know, we went with Tom just because I think with, with Union he he smashed it, and you know, don't break what what uh, what I uh, don't fix what isn't broken. I guess to a certain mm. extent. So that's what we know. We we knew that he'd come up with something that we'd all like, and and as soon as I saw it, I knew that it would just as Dad said, like we wanted something that that you we, you weren't so sure. Uh, on what on what you get really, um, and that's that's the type of mystery I think we wanted from this record really. I think we had that with the last one a little yeah. bit as well. I think it was just kind of the same vibe we wanted to get, um, and uh, and yeah, as soon as we we all saw the symbol, we just thought that's that's pretty cool. Like you know, we, yeah. obviously we wanted a symbol that we we could imagine in different scenarios, um, and that would follow us for a while as well. And I think. Uh, I think it will do. Will yeah, do I don't think uh, the, the symbol that was created, that particularly from our point of view, we wanted something that would go past this record as well, something that would, that we could kind of, it would become very much integral in the Rings campaign, but it's very much a sense of who we are and, and what we're, we're going for. So, you know, that symbol will continue on into the records to come as just, you know, it's our way of going, this is the next step. Maybe, hopefully, if it works. <laughs> People might not like it, so if it's not, then you just, nah, you yeah, just later just on, like, you know it didn't really go Yeah, down. if you know that now really? our logo is like this eagle skeleton, like holding a snake with two swords and a battle yeah. axe, then you know that this didn't work, and therefore that our whole idea to take something forward was just misguided, and we've uh, gone way more winter it. sun with our next, Concept. People just stuck it for a pentagram and things just went down. Yeah, like after Channel 4 did that documentary on us being a Satanist band and then it all went, maybe. all went downhill. Maybe 2015, dark year for us.